Hi, it's Nargal. Welcome back to the Cat Lady, where a woman finds herself in a surreal afterlife and wants to strike a bargain with her. Vanquish five monsters in the world of living, and finally, find peace. And how is she supposed to do this? Puzzle solving and lateral thinking. Of course. So last time, we were in the hospital. Uh, loot. Yep. And we struck a bargain with one of the patients. We ended up getting her wristband. So let's see if we can, uh, we know that we know that there is a discharge letter here, so let's see if we can snag this. Please do not touch these. Ow. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. Yeah. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. All right. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Okay, so we're going to need to get her away from the... from the... desk. Um... Okay, so nobody's in here. We can't really can't really do anything here. Um, you know the only the only time I've seen her away from that desk is when we're in here. So, what can we do in here? Let's see, what do we have? We have Oh, that's funny. We have an extra band. That's weird. I wonder why that is. Oh, we have these gloves. Uh, open loop. Look at. Uh, hold on. I got an idea. Can we put the gloves in the toilet? Oh, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Yep. Okay, got it. Open lid. Yep. Okay, now. Stuff the gloves in here and then flush the toilet. Perfect. Gross. Okay, now let's call the bell. Have her come in here. Someone is coming. Perfect. All right. This is, this is going to plan. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. Hey. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. Yeah. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. All right. Just give me a minute. He's what a jerk. Ah, oh, it's the gloves again. <laughs> again. <laughs> All right, let's. Let's get going. See if we can snag those now. She should be hopefully not there at the desk. We should be able to grab these. Dang. Yes. That's exactly what I finally need to go home. Okay. Whew. Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you through. Yes, you can. We'll you need jerk. to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Fine. Yeah. Are you happy now? Yeah, I hope you choke yeah, on it. That seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burst? Okay, confusingly, I have two. Oh, all right. I didn't realize you Wait, knew the other how one to went away. Read. There you go. Can I go now? Yeah. Of course. Thank you, Mum. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. No. <laughs> <laughs> now get out of my way. All right. Okay. Locked. All right. Oh crap! Got it. Must be Susan Ashworth. Um. Well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? Nowhere. I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Oh, for Pete's sake. I got it. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. 
There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. Uh, I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. You're but a creep and a weirdo. I don't like you. Spot it on time. Hmm. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I don't trust you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. Oh, and you can be discharged boy. in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now. I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Fine. All right. No. I haven't really got much choice, have I? Doggone it. Stupid hospital. Now I'd oh, here we go. I'll ask you some questions about your life. Oh, boy. Sir. All right. You might find them very personal. But it's important that you answer. Okay, let's try to let's try to as make possible. her seem as fine. Let's as get over with normal, them, shall we? I'd like to go and happy home. as possible. Of course. Try to answer the questions yes. with that in mind. So Susan, we can do this. Let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Uh, I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I live on my own. I live with a friend. She was worried sick about me. Um, you know it says that I. I have a bunch of cats, and cats are friends. I live with a friend. She must be worried sick about me. A friend? Really? I'm confused. In your suicide note, you said you live alone. Okay. I lied. Well, that got it. You shouldn't be afraid of opening up, so Really? You seem like a creep. No. I know. Please. It's for your own good that we're doing. Ah, uh, fine. You need to figure out where things have gone wrong and how to fix them. You're going to try to murder I'm me, aren't you? You'll need a time machine for that, Doctor. A human mind is the best time machine you can get, Susan. All we need is for you to relax and be honest with me. Can we do that? Yes, Doctor. Does that... What do you do for a living? Does that diploma in the background above his head say University of Plots? <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Uh, uh, between jobs, I'm a waitress. Um, I'm a waitress seems like a better answer. I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? It's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? I'll get a cup of coffee. Hey, there we go. Drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. Eat a breakfast cereal, usually. I have a cup of tea and read a newspaper. I lie in bed awake. Can't bring myself to open my eyes. Strong coffee and a smoke on the balcony. Don't smoke, people. I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. Smoking's terrible for your health. It's not a great start for the day, but it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. Smoking is incredibly addictive. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Uh, I think the first one's probably the best answer. I, yeah, I, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure <laughs> if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Harmonica and Banjos. Let's see. It would be nice to have more money, I guess. A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. Hmm. It would be nice to have some more money. A good friend. I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. Uh, that seems like the least... I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm waffling between more money and better looking for Susan. Uh, let's, let's say more money. I think that's probably pretty common. It would be nice to have more money, I guess. Sure, of course. Don't we all? Ooh. 
Have okay. you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? Well, yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. <laughs> Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. That's a positive sign. You're really going to kill me, aren't you? I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. <laughs> Do you have problems sleeping? Really? Sleep like a baby. Rarely. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine now. But then before the accident, I feel like the whole world against me. I feel fine now. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Do you find it hard to concentrate? I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> no, not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Uh, no. No. That's good. Alcohol is a powerful depressant. I never really liked drinking. Excellent. And she's British? Sometimes huh. when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Of course not. I don't want to get into me. I used to play with her sometimes. Uh, of course not. I don't want to get into me. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened. As if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Uh, which is a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. Nothing makes me happy anymore. I want to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. It was just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. It was just a sudden impulse. I'm ashamed of it now. I had a really rotten day, you know? I felt like I was suffocating between the four walls of my bedroom. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? <laughs> and then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Not anymore. Not anymore. It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What Plus, makes you feel better? Plus, the Queen of the Maggots made you... Literally, <laughs> I mean, you can't be killed. <laughs> uh, my cats used to work my antidepressants, really did it for me a long bath. My cats. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. Sure. What makes you feel worse? People. I hate it when it rains all the time. That's a pretty good one. Noise, too much noise, that's me I hate it when it rains all the time. Good thing you're living in sunny old England. I hate it when it rains all the time. I know it's a bit silly, but that's how it affects me. I can't help it. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Is there, is there an option for I really don't want a funeral? Just kind of stuff my body under a tree and salute? <laughs> uh, we'll do this one. I never, I never really thought about that. Oh, I never really thought about that. But I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it. Yeah, that's, that's a spirit. Be to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. 
<laughs> Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. <laughs> what can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I don't want to talk about this. This has nothing to do with him. Can I go home now? Nothing to talk about. It's getting late. Can we talk about this some other time? I don't really want to talk about this. I... I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Can we go? Okay. One more question. This is just a formality. Oh dear. But I have to ask. Are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no. I'm not. <laughs> Wait a guess, Excellent. <laughs> You're nearly done here. Oh, he's gonna kill me, isn't he? There's just one more thing I must clear with. Oh, dear. What exactly happened last night? Last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. Okay. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. <laughs> it was the same nurse who was so friendly with oh, me Liz. last night. Okay. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. Flashback. But please, you must follow me. Quickly. Am I, oh. <laughs> I'm controlling Susan in a flashback? That's amazing. <laughs> I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Yeah. Hurry! Right. Jeez. Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Oh, I'm bad sign about this. This this seems bad. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Okay. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Susan. If we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Yeah. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's the Dr. X is going to kill me, isn't he? I'll be right behind you. All right. I mean, I trust you, Liz, but... I think the doctor's going to kill me. I think I can hear someone coming. Probably Liz. Yep. <laughs> Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Okay. This is very strange. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Oh, good call. Yep, go to the left. Let's go in. All right, where are we going? Like to the basement and we'll sneak out the parking garage? Wait, why are we going to the roof? This is a roof, right? Yeah. Liz, what's going on? What are we doing on the roof? Yep, ex my exact question. Liz. What the hell are you doing? Liz, no, uh, get off the ledge. Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. Oh, Liz, no. The only escape. No, no. It's not. Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll see. Oh, Liz. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. Yeah, come on, Liz. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, Liz. I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. I listened to you. No one ever cared. You talked my ear off. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Yeah. Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? Which one? The one about the woman in A and E. Oh, who was on oxygen and then, uh, yep, she was on oxygen. Lit up a cigarette, blew herself up. Yeah, 
She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. Blind guess, come on. But I must jump anyway. <laughs> Don't. I no, have no. no choice. No, no, no. Wait. You do. Stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. You do, though. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Yeah. Do you remember that other thing I told you? Which one? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Oh, you did. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? Uh, I bet you don't remember that. I think, I think you said you didn't know, but you thought she might be a stripper, because she was dressing up like a sexy nurse. I think, I think you said you weren't sure, but you thought she was a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. Yep. You've listened. Of course. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do mm. you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Yeah. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Valentine's Day. Yeah, on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. What a jerk. Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said after all. I did. I'll, I'll be back. When you need help. I'll be there, Susan. No, 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 no. But right now. It's time for me to let go. Oh, no. splorp. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, man, on a car, too. Oof. Well, shoot. <laughs> Doggone it. Oh, it's a flashback. That's right. Oh, the doctor's... I think the doctor was doing something to Liz. Yeah, I can't, I don't have any control, so, okay, well, shoot. After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. Yeah. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? Of course. You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. Oh, uh, you're keeping me out. I saw her this morning. She's fine. I don't trust you. Like you to come with me oh, boy. See her. No. Say hi. Oh, no, it's a bad idea. Sure she's all right. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. That's a bad idea. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. I don't... Mm. Oh, locked door. Oh, no. Door is locked? Yeah, he's going to kill us, isn't he? I I, got it. Answers. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. Oh, you're one of the horrible monsters. I got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbone. Oh, dear. You're a clever girl, Susan, but the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. Um. Oh, dear. Dear. I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh boy. I mean, fortunately, we're immortal and can't be killed, so we're gonna come back, but. Jeez. Alright. Stupid doctor. I got it. I mean, there's nothing I, c I don't think I could have changed that at all, so. I believe this game has a very linear path. Uh, I, th I think there is more than one ending. I don't know if I get the good ending. Wait, where's this blur pen? Oh, <laughs> jinx. Why is there a crow? Oh, that was weird. Oh, that's... Oh, the, the shadows is... Yeah, they kind of... A little programming. This blur pen is there. Oh, sure. I'll uh, examine. I wonder what it does. Oh, turns out the music. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Crow. Whoa. Uh, 
Hello. Yeah. Oh, a cool voice. Who are you? I am the crow, of course. I will get you out of here. Unless you don't want to think. No. I thought so. There are two doors leading out of this place. Oh, boy. One of them will simply take Susan back to where she belongs. Yeah. But behind the other one, there is a great reward for her. It's something she always wanted. Something she longs for every single day. I don't trust you. Where are those doors? I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I feel it to Susan can't miss them. Okay, here's a question. You said the right side of the stage. Is that audience right or stage right? I mean, this is stage right and there's no going, so I'm guessing it's audience right. That is a major faux pas there, Mr. I, or Mrs. I. Okay, two doors. Oh, what the splurp? Does Susan like my girls? Are you sure? Huh. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. <laughs> it's rude. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. Great. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Waste it. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth, while the other one always lies. Oh, this is a classic game riddle. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which. I actually know what the answer to this is. Something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? Of course it does. What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. Okay, let's talk about the logic here. The logic with this is, is actually pretty simple, and as, as I said, this is a classic game riddle slash puzzle, and I happen to know what the answer is. So here's the logic. You can ask either one of them. If you ask the one that always lies, well, okay, here's the key that you have to ask. The question you have to ask is, what would the other person tell me to do? Which door would the other person tell me to go through? That's the key here, because... If the one that always lies, if you talk to the one that always lies, they're going to lie to you and tell you to go through the wrong door. If you talk to the one that always tells you the truth, they're going to tell you the truth that the other doll is going to tell you to go through the wrong door. So you ask which one the other doll would do, and then you always select the opposite of what they say. Okay. Examine? I wish it stopped staring at me. Let's ask it. Which door should I enter? Which door will lead to my reward? Which door would take me back? Uh, where's uh, Which door would the other doll point me to? Yep, that is the key. Which door would the other doll point me to? Okay, and we choose the opposite door. So did you, did you get that logic? Doesn't matter which one we ask. We always ask what the opposite would choose. And so if we ask the one that always tells the truth, the one that always the truth will tell you, the other doll who always lies will tell you to go through the wrong door. If you talk to the one that always lies, they will always lie to you and tell you to go through the wrong door because that because the doll that tells the truth will tell you to go through the right door. The correct door, I'm sorry. Open. Let's do it. That's it. Hooray. Oh, that's flowers. Doesn't doesn't she hate flowers? Please be sure she does. Is is this supposed to be my reward? Back on it. Flowers. Stupid flowers. I hate flowers. Yep. You lied to me. Yeah. <laughs> you lied. Oh. Hello, I. How you doing? Did you really think there would be anything precious waiting for you here? Not really. I didn't trust you. Lovely roses. Just like everything else. They just turn into a... You do have a 
cool modulated voice. I'll say that. I mean, that's good because I hate flowers, so probably for the best. Oh, another one to go through. Let's see what that lies in store for us next time. Thanks for watching this playthrough of the Cat Lady. Coming up next, I think that uh, Dr. X is one of those horrible, horrible monsters that we need to take out. And we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time for more The Cat Lady. See you then.